So let's look at the functionality of closing a reminder. We'll go to our PHP Storm, create a new route. Let's just say that will be <coughs> first a get URL. <coughs> slash close okay we'll have close okay um no uh rather we will call this note okay and this will be add note because that uh, this will be the screen where we add the note okay um, and then we will have a post URL where we will close the reminder so we have reminder dot close that we will have as close here as well so we need to add two functions in here um, let's copy this add note this is going to be a get URL so we don't need the request however this is going to be close it will have the request object what we will expect here is this validate request the rules will be I need the reminder ID so it is required and it should exist in the reminders remind reminders table as in the ID column okay and the note itself minimum three character uh, three characters so this is what we want and I can go on and uh, load the reminder reminder dot find post data reminder ID with that we can change the status to closed I think uh, let's look at the database we'll get a better understanding so this is completed so we'll say completed reminder save once that is done we need to hmm, we need the lead so lead dot find reminder lead ID this is required because we I want the user to uh, go back to the lead view however I'm just trying to see if there is a way to just load the lead and then do it because I have two select queries one is reminder and then this update query and then again I'll have lead uh, select query so three queries in here and obviously this will result in a query so four queries are come you know, going in here so let me see if we can change that uh, we can uh, uh, try to refactor by loading the relationship but for now we will do redirect to the route uh, lead lead view where lead is dollar lead okay with this done let's look at this uh, view so we have we will create a form as part of the component um, it will be reminder note dot view <coughs> let me copy a few things from maybe reminder add okay, so from layout to layout template I need the layout so script mm. 
okay uh, layout is fine leads is fine lead details so we need the leads props i'll need the lead do i really need the lead hold on so the user will be coming from this screen so let's say that yeah we will need that uh, lead will be an object and obviously I need the reminder which is also an object okay controller add note and this add note will get the lead and reminder so lead dollar lead and reminder dollar reminder those are already available as um, route model binding so inertia render leads slash that's reminder note that's the name of our component in that we will have lead dollar lead and reminder dollar reminder okay so the the view part the controller is this function is done this is also actually done but we need to refactor that however so reminder note has two props this that is fine um, this form is not required add note reminder add note um, so what is going to happen is reminder form this now basically becomes a link instead of a button then right so let's quickly change that the reminder view no longer needs to handle this event we only have reminder submit and add new reminder so this also goes away <coughs> and uh, reminder form doesn't emit this at all this button is changed to inertia link as close reminder which h refs to dollar route reminder note now reminder is available i'm not getting the lead in the form in reminder view sorry yeah in reminder view i'm getting the lead so i'll send that first of all lead is expected so lead is sent from here and lead reminder will also need to send that so lead is lead right <clears throat> which means um, we so far we have no problem in here oh we do uh, lead key is required for route reminder note okay uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. This is where I think it is failing. Reminder note lead lead and reminder is main reminder fresh. Okay, the close reminder needs the classes to act like a button. So, button button. Outline danger that should do the trick yes it does so now it is going to take me to this screen which needs to have a form on submit dot prevent handle add node add the methods object in that we will have 
a function okay and uh, in the form we will have a note this is not going to be an input field it is going to be a text area name is note id will be note and class form control v model now again so <clears throat> i have reminder but i don't think i need to bind it to any object i can have return reminder sorry note and so i will do note so it is the model is note which means whatever i type will be available here and when the button is pressed i'll create the post data which needs to have reminder id if you remember so reminder dot id and note which is going to be this dot note <coughs> okay and like we have this we'll copy this function over here it says reminder dot close post data has reminder id and note so just to confirm reminder id and note is required and then it should do all these stuff haven't done the validation we can quickly add that as well all right Mm, text area it will be note so at that hit refresh okay we are missing the button wow button btn btn success close okay hit refresh is having a problem reminder is not defined where is it getting reminder this dot reminder and not reminder okay so validation is working and I'm saying this is a cold lead save and we have everything as completed so let me show you again what is the flow and we will test everything as well so in our leads okay let's go to our first lead it has one uh, reminder which is completed already one is pending so fine that's done now this is three one i will add a reminder called but no one picked up we'll call again let's just simulate a few things so three and then saturday four save okay that reminder was closed and call but no one picked that is the new one <clears throat> now on fourth let's say we close the reminder i don't think it will work and we do close and this is that's done so yeah that's the entire flow which we had in our mind and we have completed it now a few things which i will like to do is these reminders about that we are storing in our table right it has user id so i would want uh, to <coughs> and on my dashboard on the on my dashboard there will be a place where i will be able to see the reminders for today's date okay um, so if i have three reminders i will um, need to work on them and the moment their statuses goes to close they should not be visible so i'll have an area here where i will show the reminders and based on that date i will have a cron which will check for every user whether there are <coughs> um, you know, pending reminders and it will shoot an email to all those users with those reminders okay so that's what we will uh, try to capture in the 
future videos for this second part of the reminders functionality thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel